Welcome back. Let's talk about different text editors in Linux. And to begin with, let's talk about the default text editor VI. You can create a new file in VI by typing in VI space file name, or you can edit an existing file by also typing VI and then existing file name. So let's create a new file this time. Now, as soon as you enter the VI editor, you'll see these little symbols, which are called tilde's. And in VI, a tilde represents an unused line. If a line does not begin with a tilde, and appears to be blank it must have a space tab new line or some other non vi viewable character so if you're using this file that you're editing as an input to some other process or program and that program expects unused line at a certain position but your line didn't have a tilde which means it had a space or tab or anything else your program might error out so if you want an unused line make sure there's always a tilde there now there are two modes in vi command mode enables you to perform administrative tasks such as saving the file executing commands moving the cursor etc second mode is insert mode which enables you to insert text into file vi by default always starts in command mode and to enter text in this file you have to hit i and as soon as you hit i in command mode you will see that the prompt on bottom left hand side of the screen changes into insert to get out of this insert mode you can type in escape and you'll see that the insert disappeared so i to go into insert mode and escape to get out of insert mode now let's get into insert mode and type some lines of text in it now once you're in insert mode to delete a whole line where your cursor's at you can hit escape and d twice so escape and the d key d as in dog twice and that will delete the whole line where the cursor was at now if you want to only delete text that's towards the right hand side of the cursor you can key in escape escape key and then capital D so escape and then capital D will delete all the data on that current line towards the right hand side of the cursor now the command to quit out of VI is escape to get into command mode from insert mode and colon Q exclamation mark so Q is basically quit and then hit enter if we do an LS here we can see that my file was not written to the disk because this is quitting a file without saving it so now let's get back into VI mode typing some random text now if you want to save and quit I can type in escape colon WQ question mark and this will save the file and exit I can do a cat I can see that my data was saved on the file let's back and get into VI now let's say we if we want to save the work we've done on the file but we do not want to quit the editor we want to keep working so if I go into insert mode this is a second line now I want to save my work I can type in escape colon and W exclamation mark and this will save my file so I can see my file name here I can see that my file has three lines so this is the first line this line does not have a tilde which means it has white space here and this is my third line really and it has number of characters that were written now let's say if you wanted to do a save as on this file so you want the third line but you want to save the text that you've just modified into a second file so not in this file but you want to do a save as operation hit escape to get into command mode and then colon and then w which means write this and then space and then you give it a file name my new file dot txt so this will perform a save as operation and save this file in my new file dot txt now let's get out of this and if I do an ls here I can see I've got two files my file dot txt and my new file dot txt now to see the difference between these two files what I can do is I can do a diff to show the differences and give it the both give it both files as input parameters and hit enter and this will basically tell me that this line this is the third line is present in this file but is not present in this file so that's it's showing me the difference between these two files now getting back to vi now if you wanted to move around in the file within the file without changing it then you must always be in the command mode now let's search for something in this file so let's say you're in a file actually let's get out of this file and let's open the file that we downloaded from internet because that has more text in it now we can use two different commands to perform a forward or a backward search so to match a pattern in the forward direction I'll type in when I'm in command mode I'll type in this slash so forward slash and then I'll type in the pattern I want to type so sample and this will show me the pattern available that is matching to the pattern I've put in my search in the forward direction if I want to match a pattern in the backward direction in command mode I'll type in question mark and this will show me the pattern that matches 
in the backward direction now to repeat the search that was performed previously in the same or opposite direction we can use small n and capital n so i search for the pattern sample in the backward direction using the question mark and what i can now do is i can type in small n and this will go in the backward direction and search for the pattern that i previously typed in or i can hit capital n and this will search in the forward direction now let's do the same thing using forward slash so let's search for try this time and hit enter now i'm at 80 percent of the file so just look at this and i searched in the forward direction now let's try small n so small n goes in the forward direction which means the direction that i originally searched in and capital n will search in the backward direction for me so you see i'm searching in the backward direction if i look at it here now there are some characters that are special characters so special characters must be preceded by a backslash in your search expression so for example if I want to search in forward direction but I want to search for new lines and new line is generally represented like this right I can see I cannot type in new line here I can't type in here because it will search for a text named new line but to search for new lines in my text I can hit backslash n and this will search for new lines and obviously I can do small n and capital N to go forward and backward in my text now let's talk about how you can change the look and feel of your vi screen using the set commands so let's see we want to display the line numbers on our text so what i can do is once in command mode i can hit colon and type set and i can type in nu and then this will display lines with line numbers on the left hand side so the lines in my text now have line numbers now if i wanted to word wrap i can hit escape to make sure i'm in command mode hit colon and i can type in set and then wm and this will word wrap my text now if this option is a value greater than zero then this editor will automatically word wrap for example to set the word wrap margin to two characters you will type in escape w so set wm is equal to two and now you can see my word wrap margin will be set to two characters so if i originally typed in set wm you can see that my wrap margin was set to two characters so this is how you can change the look and feel in your vi editor this ends this lecture on a vi editor i have attached some files with this lecture which contains all the commands that you will need in a vi editor like what is the command to save what is the command to save and quit etc i hope this lecture was helpful thank you for watching and i'll save you in the next lecture bye